cholera cholera an acute diarrheal infection caused by ingestion of food or water contaminated with the bacterium vibrio cholerae transmission is usually through the fecal oral route it is spread mostly by unsafe water and food contaminated with human feces containing the bacteria undercooked seafood is also a common source risk factors poor sanitation not enough clean drinking water poverty symptoms it takes between 12 hours and 5 days for a person to show symptoms after ingesting contaminated food or water. It affects both children and adults. Most do not develop any symptoms. Although the bacteria are present in their feces for 1 to 10 days after infection and are shed back into the environment, potentially infecting other people. Some people develop symptoms, the Majority have mild or moderate symptoms, while a minority develop acute watery diarrhea. Rice water stool, with severe dehydration. This can lead to death if left untreated. Diagnosis. Stool test. Profuse, rice water, stool, a watery stool with flecks of mucus. Typically with a fishy odor. Rapid dipstick test based on immunochromatography and colorimetric reporting, and detects Vibrio cholerae O1 and O139 antigens binding to antibodies fixed on a nitrocellulose strip. Treatment. Rehydration. Replaces the fluids that have been lost. Oral rehydration solution. Recommended formulation includes sodium chloride, sodium citrate, if not available, sodium bicarbonate, potassium chloride, and glucose, if not available, sucrose. Rice-based oral rehydration is also effective in reducing stool output. Intravenous fluid, e.g. ringer's lactate. Solution. For patients who are severely dehydrated and unable to take in the proper amount of fluid. Orally. Antibiotics. E.g. fluoroquinolones, tetracyclines. Supplemental zinc. 10-20 mg daily. For 10-14 to 14 days. Reduces the severity and duration and makes recurrence in the following 2-3 to three months. Less likely. Feeding. Management of malnutrition. Once diarrhea is corrected, give the child an extra meal each day for two weeks, and longer if the child is malnourished. Give the child risomal rehydration solution for malnutrition. Prevention, education, hygiene promotion, social mobilization, sanitation, access to clean water, oral cholera vaccines. Forms are inactivated and attenuated. Injectable cholera vaccines. Effective for people living where cholera is common.